want to turn to our medical correspondent, Dr. John Torres. John, first of all, the CDC issuing this urgent alert, what do you expect it to say and, and what's the significance of that? In Savannah, they're going to issue the alert hopefully today. And what we expect it to say is kind of give a definition for what they're calling the pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome. And the main reason behind this is so doctors can pay attention to it. Because as doctors, we use what we call a differential diagnosis. We look at the hundreds of things that somebody could possibly be suffering from. We put the most common ones at the top of the order. And those are the things we start looking into. This is going to push that up towards the top. And so now doctors, when, pay, when kids come in, they're going to start looking at it, even if they don't have symptoms of coronavirus, because we know now that they recover from coronavirus, and then weeks later they end up getting this, Savannah. Well, you know, it, it just goes back to this this beginning of this outbreak when, you know, we were all under the impression that kids were not getting the coronavirus as much. Is that true? I mean, does, are they getting it in, in, in lesser amounts? I mean, are they, are they susceptible to it, I guess, is this basic question. Well, kids are definitely not safe from coronavirus, but they seem to have a little bit of protection because of their age and their immune system. But at the same time, the immune system in these small numbers of children can actually go hyperactive, and we think that might, might be causing this PMIS syndrome that they're having. So the main message here, I think, for parents is realize that, that kids themselves are not necessarily totally safe. They need to be protected. And if they do have coronavirus or you think they have symptoms of it, be sure to watch them for the next few weeks because, as you heard, up to six weeks later, they can start having these symptoms and you want to make sure you keep an eye on those symptoms because if some of them start turning bad you want to get them in as soon as possible is it real quick is it possible that your child could have had coronavirus you never know it have them show no symptoms and then turn up with this PIMS the secondary illness and Savannah, that's not necessarily, not just possible, but it's probable. With children in particular, we know that most people, 50% of people don't have symptoms with coronavirus. With children, we think that's even higher. And so they could be acting totally normally, and all of a sudden they get these. The main symptoms to look for, you heard some there, but if they start having weak pulse, difficulty breathing, they're not acting normal, you need to get them to the emergency room quickly because, again, this can turn, this can turn bad very fast, and there are medicines we can use to try and help out. Those are probably the main ones to look for. And again, if you start noticing some of these, get them to the emergency room. If you're just worried about the fever they've had, the persistent fever, and they're still acting normally, a slight belly pain, talk to their doctor. But some of the other ones, make sure you get help right away. All right, Dr. Torres, thank you so much. For